What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6 p.m. on Friday. It is the Premier League team of the season. And the A haven't updated everything in there yet. And so uh, we'll start with SBCs. We've got a couple player of the months out here as well. No new icons, of course. Nothing new in leagues. Don't even need to check anymore. Um, oh, they've given us a team of the season tab. Team of the season flash chat. Well, flash challenge two hours. Is that really a flash? An 85, rate, 85 chemistry squad. Silver players, five rares, one club bin three. Same league max five for a rare gold pack untradeable. Bit boring, but hey, it's there. And the first Premier League team of the season challenge token, which also gives you... Wow, that token actually looks legit, doesn't it? Premium Electron Players Pack. And this is going to cost an arm and a leg. No, this is going to cost a 70 rated, 11 rares, minimum one gold, minimum one Premier League player, 75 chemistry. Happy days. Um, that does mean... Oh, oh, the swap things here yet for the Premier League stuff? No, maybe not. I don't know when they were introduced those. We'll find out. What have we got in live? Delhi Alley's flashback is already live. Holy... Now, they have given him four star, four star, six foot two high medium. His dribbling is really good. His passing is really good. His shooting is good as well. Positioning and finishing is really good. That's an unbelievable card. Stamina and strength is super nice. He's got the flare trait and the outside of the foot shot trait. That is an unreal flashback. It costs an 85 rated with an inform, an 87 rated with an inform, and an 88 rated... Damn, I mean, it's, it's expensive, but that's a crazy card. That is a crazy card. We have also got Davy Clarkson, Eredivisie Player of the Month. Absolutely woeful, absolutely useless, and it's going to cost you an 82-rated squad with an Eredivisie player. Barely worth it for an 84-rated squad. And then Player of the Month, Karen Benzema. Thoroughly deserved. Great dribbling, little heavy on the balance. Good physicals, decent passing, very good shooting pace is getting there i don't expect this to cost much because obviously in a week from now we're going to get like team of the season benzema so this is an 86 rated with one in form and 65 chem there if you want it um what else have we got icon moments upgrade marquee matchups and you're for marquee matchups j league kit as a j league fan myself now i might be interested in that um and so that's all that's there there's some nice players there though and then let's have a look at these objective players Guys, team of the season, Saka. Is he four-star, four-star? This won't tell us. It never does. It always has it wrong there. He's got pace is nice. Dribbling is very nice. Reactions and composure are a bit low. Stamina is good. Shooting, his positioning is brilliant. Got team player trait. What do we need to get him? Scintillating Saka. Assist three goals from crosses in Premier play. Score five finesse goals. Using players with four-star weak foot in Premier Play. And you get the swaps token. Win four matches and score using English players in 10 separate matches. Now, what is Premier Play? Premier Play is a classic match. Seven Premier League players minimum. Three clubs minimum. One loan maximum. Fair enough, EA. Fair enough. And then, team of the season, moments to hair. 93 rated... Diving, reflexes, handling, positioning, all cracked out. He's definitely about to be my goalkeeper on the team of the season, Rose Glory. Cautious with crosses, saves with feet trait, which is obviously ideal. And he is going to be eight finesse goals in squad battles or rivals. Eight assists with three balls using Premier League players in squad battles or rivals. Score from outside the box in five separate matches. Jesus Christ. In squad battles or rivals. And then win eight matches... Just win eight in general, which is absolutely perfect. And that gives you another swaps token as well. Um, I believe that is all that's there for today. Um, team of the season tour is still there. And then week two bronze. Does this have a token? Sometimes they put it in. Oh. Oh, look at that. Premier League or Eredivisie team of the season loan player untradeable. Oh, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Don't get you three loans, guys. Why on earth not? They did sack us. Yeah, they did sack a very dirty. Very dirty. Um, so before we get into having a look at the team, I've got some player picks. I'm going to run through about 20 here and the rest on stream. Um, FB.gg slash Nepenthes link down below. Obviously, there's still the Aerodivise tots. 
in here. So if we do get a blue, it might not be Premier League. Unfortunately, Tots is literally just City, United and Liverpool. Yeah, and then there's like, what, one West Ham player in there. And not a lot else. Herrera. And then we'll go and have a look at these guys. Ooh, Handanovic. Not playing so well today, is he? 1-0 down to Empoli right now. I know that because I'm a big football fan. Parejo. Didn't play so well against Liverpool, did he? I know that because I'm a big football fan. Yannick Carrasco just had a team of the season mere minutes ago. Mere minutes ago. No Bowen is criminal. And yeah, maybe he gets like an SBC or something. I don't know. It's the clan rice, is it? Uh, we get Casper Schmeichel. Come on, EA. Hook us up with one. Didn't I take a Rupert Tree show? Let's do this page and we'll finish on this page and then we'll go and have a look at all the players. Gareth Bale. Got Diaz from PP. GG's on your PP's. <laughs> Perisic playing right now for uh, Inter. I know that because I'm a massive football fan. Christian Eriksen currently plays for Brentford, if you didn't know that. I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, Angelino did get an assist for uh, Red Bull against... Um, oh, Paul Pogs against uh, Rangers, but it wasn't enough. Rangers still went through after a 3-1 win. I know that because I am a big fan of football. Next up. Yeah, you're doing us dirty here, honestly. We get, we're not even getting, like, big cards. We're just getting 81s, 82s, and 83s. I would like to see some other big walkouts. Come on. He, oh, he should be team of the season, Joel Matip, by the way. 100%. I'd say even over, over Van Dijk, Joel Matip should be team of the season. <clears throat> Two more, and then we're going to go and look at all these players and their in-game stats and be sad that we didn't get a team of the season from 24 player picks. Yeah. Oh, he definitely shouldn't be. The team of the season. All right, here we go. What are we saying, EA? New players. Oh, they're all the tokens. Uh, let's pop him up. Let's go popular. Deli Ali, Bukayo Saka, Karen Benzema, David De Gea. Right, that's the... Uh... Deli Ali is a beast, man. To be fair, they have given him a whopping upgrade. A whopping upgrade. Four star, four star. I think an, uh, you don't really need the engine because his passing is already pretty cracked. But you probably want the pace. And that makes his dribbling ridiculous. His physical is ridiculous. His passing perfect. His pace very good. His shooting very good. That is honestly an unbelievable card. That is an unbelievable card. Uh, I like that a lot. Now, Bukayo Saka, they have done a bit dirty. He is four star, four star. So that's the first positive is that he is there. But from his 87... So this, they've got, they've taken him from an 87 in form to a 91 team in a season. And they've given him one defending, two dribbling, seven in shooting, four pace, a bit of passing, a bit of physicals. I mean, you give him a maestro, definitely. Get that passing up nicely. Get those long shots and shot power up nicely. Pace is good. Dribbling now is very good, apart from composure. Stamina is very good. Four star, four star. It's not bad. Karen Benzema. Of course, you'd be a fool not to just like whack a hunter on him, get that pace up there, or an engine for that dribbling. His finishing is already quite good. He'd make a good cam, to be fair, with a four-star, four-star on him, but I probably wouldn't even bother doing that. He's going to have a team of the season. It'll be about 60k in a few uh, in a week or so's time. And then David De Gea looks brilliant. One of the better goalkeepers on the game anyway this year. Um, so with a basic chem style, 99 diving and reflexes, 91 kicking, 96 positioning, 96 handling. What more do you want for an objective player? And then the Premier League team of the season. Have they got it loaded in? Yes, they have. Krista Renata. He has got a 97 rated compared to his team of the year. It has got one more pace. One more shooting, but in stats that don't really matter. One less physical, but it's only stamina and strength ne negative one. And then passing's a little bit better as well. One less curve, one more short passing. Obviously, he's like the Holy Grail. Five-star, four-star on Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, we have got Bruno Fernandes. Nobody knows. Nobody knows how he's in team of the season. Compared to... Look, look at this upgrade, man. Saka got a plus four in his most recent inform, and they gave him next to no upgrades. Bruno got a plus one on his nominee cards, and they've given him, like, some mad upgrade. Five extra on the acceleration, five balance, four composure. Just not on, is it? Shooting, brilliant. Passing, brilliant. Dribbling, brilliant. Physically, brilliant. Pop a shadow on him. 
There you go. Four star, three star. So no upgrade on his weak foot for uh, Bruno Fernandes. Sadio Mane, 96 rated. What's interesting is if Liverpool win the Champions League. Wait, is, isn't this Mane anyway going to go up to a 96? This Mane, this one right here, the road to the final, could end up as a 98 rated. But his 96 team of the season is there and it is good. Five star skill moves. Oh my days. Oh my days. Sadio Mane is crazy that dribbling that shooting that 99 pace that insane physicals i i tell you what guys this might be it, uh, this this might be the best card in the game at the moment until vinicius jr team of the season comes out a 99 rated center forward with a marksman what an unbelievable card that is unbelievable card kevin de bruyne four star skill moves five star weak foot again he's got some different properties to his uh team of the year he's a beast he's passing superb i mean you just give him like an anchor or something or a shadow and the, yeah he's just or maybe even an engine if you're really desperate for that agility and balance which you might be and why not but de bruyne is a beast mohammed salah four four on him four four on mohammed salah 98 pace, 98 dribbling. Wait, didn't the stats on his uh, leaked card have 99 pace and 99 dribbling? Hey, his dri I mean, that dribbling is absurd. Shooting is absurd. You need to boost his physicals and his passing. What is that? Not powerhouse, is it? That is... I want to say gladiator. Nope. Guardian. Nope. Architect. What about that for a card? That's literally unreal. 99 strength on him there as well. That is massive. That is massive. Hyung Min Son. Four star skill moves, five star weak foot. Brilliant stats. 99 stam. Bang an engine on him. Superb. Top pace. Super dribbling. Su these, these cards are all just cracked out. All of them. They're all juiced up to the nines. Bernardo Silva. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot. Dribbling is insane. Stamina is perfect. Aggression is very good. Short passing, vision, crossing, all great. I mean, you pop a maestro on him. Unreal. Look at that dribbling, that shooting. That is an immaculate card. That is such a superb card. Joao Cancelo on this one. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. Compared to his team of the season, it's a little bit better with much better, much better physicals. And there you go. What a card that is. We have got Virgil van Dijk. Five-star skill moves. Two-star, three-star. His pace split is weird. They've given him eight acceleration on his 93. Fair play to EA for that. I mean, his defending is so good. So is his uh, physicals. You probably give him an engine. Or like a catalyst or something. Get that pace up to as much as you can. And then Ruben Dish. Four-star weak foot on Ruben Dish. Good card again, man. Again, you need the pace, right? You want the pace. I'd probably go an engine on him. His defending of physical is already good enough. And then Allison in goal. Great card for Allison. 160k already because who cares about goalkeepers? Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's four-star, four-star. Now, this is just a super card. Passing, brilliant. Dribbling, very good. Shooting from range and positioning, very good. We pop an anchor on. This is a super card. A shadow if you want the maxed out pace. I'd personally go with an anchor to get that strength and aggression. It's another super card. The Clan Rice. This card looks so good. 100k already. Oh, my days. Three star, three star sucks. Pop a shadow on him, though. I mean, look, perfect passing, insane dribbling, great physicals, near perfect pace and near perfect defending with perfect sh shooting from range. How this card is already 100k, I don't know. Yeah, three star, three star, but it's just a DM. And then we've got Rodri. Three star skill moves, four star weak foot. He's, look, what, how? Passing near perfect, dribbling very good. Again, you pop a shadow on him. That's an unreal player for 60k. 
And then last but not least, guys, Diego Jota. Jota. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. Great dribbling. Otherwise, real good card stats. I mean, I might go with like a dead eye on him. Personally. It's, it's, a, it's, it's good. The team of the season for the Premier League is good. It is good. I am a bit blown away by the price of some of these players already. Bruno Fernandes at 370k is a joke. I think the objective players are decent. I think Deli Ali is fantastic. Yeah, Declan Rice, yeah, compared to his SBC, what was his SBC? 365k. Oh, but he's got five star skill moves. Five star, three star on that one. Three star, three star on this one. I'll take this one every day, personally. Week two bronze objectives. Yeah, I looked at the bronze objectives already. Get some lone team of the season players. It's very nice. Um, yeah, you've got a flash challenge. You've got Premier League team of the season challenge. I, I think overall, the team itself is actually brilliant. I, I don't think you can really fault it. And then we've also got the um, the token suggestion system thing, which is available. Does it, does it give us a little uh, note here anywhere? In news, perhaps. There you go, swaps. You can earn up to 24 swaps tokens, exchange them from the 20th of May. Oh, that's two weeks away. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. But loads of content to engage with there, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.